If you haven't done so already, go to pdfforsugar.com and click on Free Account. Fill out the information and create your own user account. You will be sent an email and you'll need to open up that email and click on it to activate your account. Once your account is activated, you can click on Customer Login to log into your account. The next step is to upload your PDF. Click on the Browse button, navigate to your PDF document, and upload it. This will take just a few seconds. Once it's been uploaded, you'll notice over here it'll say ID to use in Sugar. You'll want to take this ID, click on it, right mouse click, and select Copy, and we're going to go paste this into the button inside our Sugar CRM so that when you click on the PDF for Sugar button, it knows to open up your contact form. Back in Sugar CRM, you'll want to click on Admin and scroll down and go back over into Studio. Once inside of Studio, I can go back to where I added in the button field, which just happened to be inside of Contacts Fields. And there it is, PDF button. I'll select it, and now I'll get rid of the test from my ID to use in Sugar, and I'll hit Control V to paste in the ID of my form that's sitting up at pdfforsugar.com. Then I'll save it. If this doesn't look familiar to you, go back and watch the video Add the PDF for Sugar button into Sugar CRM Detail View. Going back to my contact data view, I can click on Get PDF, and that will launch the PDF inside of my web browser with all the data merged into the fields where the fields matched up. As you can see, this form has other fields on it that could be filled out. So this form could be printed. If you have Adobe Acrobat, you could save this form with the data in it. And if you wanted to submit this to another location or even back into Sugar, you could get a formrouter.net account. 